Buenos Dias from the famed Starfish Beach on Isla Colón in the Bocas del Toro region of Panama. I wanted to give you a little look around. Uh, I arrived about an hour ago. I've had a look, but I wanted to uh, show you as well. So it is a small beach. I'm going to give you a little wa wide angle view. Definitely not uh, my expectations. But it is a nice, beautiful white sand beach uh, with uh, quite a bit of sand. Uh, the water is shallow and clear. Uh, and you can actually see fishes without your snorkel gear. Uh, the snorkeling here, believe it or not, is not great. Uh, you can see more actually just walking in the water and then it becomes murky. There's not much to see. So I don't know if you can hear in the background, we've got tons of little beach bars set up here. They've all got their own music going. There's tons of boats that have come by and they are dropping off tourists every five minutes. It reminds me of uh, a little bit of uh, Cancun beach break. Definitely not a deserted off the grid beach. But I suppose it does have its charms. Uh, we do have a lot of restaurants that are serving fresh local caught lobster that I am looking forward to trying. There is a lot of beach bars here, which is kind of cool because there isn't so many in the rest of the country. Really safe for the kids as it's a very gradual and slow entry into the water. I'm going to take you back into the Palapa area, one of the restaurants. Ooh, look at this. Let's see if I can do this while I'm on camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so there's some fun things to do with your friends. Got Don de Mina restaurant Happy Life. Let's take a little walk along the beach here and then you can kind of see all the areas that we're passing. It is located on kind of a corner. Um, in a protected cove. I haven't seen any of the famed actual starfish yet, um, so we'll see what happens. We have some vendors that have set up shop along the beach so you can buy your souvenirs. The all important beach bar in the back. Lots of boats. As you can see, uh, we have tons of people that have come on. You can come from the different islands, book a tour. Or I took a public bus from the Isla Colon. It was two dollars and fifty cents. Took about thirty-five minutes or so, and then I had to hike about 20-30 minutes to get here. More little beach shops. Ooh, take a look at this. This is actually quite nice. It looks hand done and very cool. I'm impressed. So let's keep going. More restaurants, more beach. It's actually more mangrovey here. If you want to swim, it's best to go down to the end. They also have a volleyball court that they've set up if you bring a ball. And you can see here we uh, the palm trees are going into the water. So not a ton of beach on this end, but still quite nice.
We have some secondary forest in the background. I saw a hawk. Uh, I saw vultures again for the first time in weeks. Uh, well, maybe not weeks. It feels like weeks since I've left, Co left Costa Rica, but maybe last week. So definitely worth the jaunt uh, to come out here if you are on the main island of Kalan. It is more uh, natural. Uh, I've seen some animals. I've seen some plants. Definitely one of uh, the nicer beaches in the area. I've I've checked out Donde, I believe. It's just be before here. Uh, this is much nicer. That's a quite a small beach. So I'm actually on the prowl for my lunch right now. It is about noon. I've arrived probably about nine o'clock. And they have some local lobsters that I kind of uh, saw on the way in. And they go from $10 American and up. So I'm going to see if I can reserve my lobster as a little treat for my um, coming out here. So this is one of the restaurants. Let's take a look at their menu since it's right here. So the prices aren't too bad for a beach shop. We've got uh, taco with lobster, octopus, quite a few different things. And of course your drinks, lots of steel items. Every restaurant appears to be a little bit different. I think they are run uh, by the locals for the most part, which is nice. You're supporting the community. So it looks like we've come on another nice little beach area. So once you come through the coconuts again, there is a little beach area you can kind of chill out in. Another restaurant. I passed a ton on the way up. So I'm kind of uh, just going back and seeing the options. They seem to have octopus here which I love, but I'm not going to eat because they're amazing. Uh, but I will eat the lobster. Ooh, actually, let's see if we can see. So right here, it looks like they've got some lobsters in the water. So let's go over and see what we can see. Not drop it in the water. Mm, no lobsters. But this is where they keep them, so they're super fresh and uh, ready for your lunch plate. So I think we're back to the beginning of the beach. You can kind of see the water here. Super calm, super clear for about the first 30 meters or so, and then it gets a little bit cloudy, um, but still quite nice for the area. I'm just going to take you down to the path here where we began. And behind me here, you can see the beginning of the little beach path that I took, uh, that took me along the other beach and through the forest to reach uh, Playa Estrella or starfish beach as it's called uh, so definitely if you're in the area I would uh, make an effort to come down spend the day maybe spend more than a day there's a couple of Airbnbs um, that are available I believe Coconut Grove is the one that's closest to here it's on Donde Beach and you just have to make the 20 minute hike uh, to come to this area um, it doesn't have the best ratings to be honest with you, but uh, I think there's definitely room to improve and they have a very good location. So I hope you've enjoyed this little sneak peek at Starfish Beach on the island of Colón in Bocas del Toro. I will be spending the day or so here and then I'm going to be moving on to the San Blas Islands, which I am super excited about. Um, it's a 12 hour bus ride, three hour shuttle, and I don't know how long the bite is gonna take, 
I've been invited by one of the amazing locals. His parents live there. I met him on couch surfing. And uh, he's invited me to stay uh, and experience the islands with his family. Um, so I'm not sure really what I'm getting into, but I'm super excited about it. And I will definitely be sharing uh, the Sand Lost Islands uh, as soon as I arrive there. So big love everyone. Sending warm tropical, tropical breezes from Panama and hope to see you on adventure soon. Ciao.